Hey, it's time for 30 and 5 here on 560WIND.com. I am your national sports anchor, Mike North, and we got plenty to talk about when I tell you folks listen to John and Amy in the morning, when I tell you to listen to my buddy Steve Cochran in the afternoon. I'm not kidding. You get all the news you need, all the talk that you need, plus there's some nice people in between. Check out the website and make sure you tell your friends about the 30 in 5, which will be hopefully expanding soon, ladies and gentlemen, here on this very website. Website. Barack Obama says he needs another term to get the job done. Does anybody believe him? I mean, anybody. I mean, he didn't say hope and change in eight years. He said hope and change in four years. Now, I do understand he took over a tough situation. Republicans are happy to say that. But you didn't say you won't be able to get it done in the first term. And then you said, and they've been playing the tape all day long, if I don't get it done by the first term, then there might be another president. So you said it out of your words to the camera. You got to be careful about sound bites, Mr. President. It could be very damaging to you and something like that. And then when you get the one when Debbie Wasserman Strassman or whatever her name is, get somebody that can speak English to help work for you. Maybe you hired her to make you even sound smarter than you actually are. Now, that being said, Let's be fair about this, folks. Unemployment has come down a little bit, all right? And if he says that, guess what? If you let me have four more years, our problems are over because we're in the right direction, that's a good selling point. In the meantime, Mitt Romney trying not to be himself and trying to basically take on Newt Gingrich in a debate the other night was the saddest thing I've ever seen. Here's what Newt Gingrich did to uh, to Mitt Romney and what he will do to Barack Obama if he's not careful. Mitt Romney said, I'm a career private businessman. I'm a private businessman. Here's what Mitt Romney says once again. I've been involved in the private sector. You know what Newt Gingrich says to him? The only reason you have is because Ted Kennedy beat your ass 17 years ago. Otherwise, you'd be a senator for 17 years. So Romney goes, what? What kind of thing is that to say? And Gingrich says during the debate, it's the truth. If you beat Teddy Kennedy, you'd be a Washington insider like everybody else. So the fact that you lost, okay, is not really glowing in your report that you're a a member of private industry. You wanted to be with us. You wanted to be on that wall, but you didn't make that wall. Damaging. Then he makes a $10,000 bet with somebody like it's no big deal. Like it's no big deal. You got to pay attention to what you're doing. And here's another thing. You know what has stopped happening? Oh, the Obamas can't wait. Obama can't wait for Newt Gingrich to run. They want a piece of him. They believe that Romney's the tougher foe. Haven't heard that lately. Haven't heard that. We don't care about the baggage. We don't care if he's been married 15 times. I don't care if he got uh, some money to be a consultant. Guess what? If he could turn the country around, that's all the middle class people. No more Herman Cain stuff. He already put it out there. I mean, to me, he's in a good spot. But is he in a better spot than Tim Tebow? Can anybody be in a better spot than Tim Tebow? I'm Mike North for the Village of Roosevelt. From the ninth largest convention center to restaurants to theaters, sports venues, and hotels. Five minutes from O'Hare, you got it all here. Rosemont, you can't miss it. Today on NorthToNorth.com, somewhere around the 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock hour, I'm going to have my top five Tebow haters. Tebow haters. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tell you what they are, but I'll also blog them. Merle Hodge and Mike Ditka almost came to blows yesterday. The only reason they didn't, because it was on different, Ditka was in another room. Okay? Merle Hodge will not, now it's the offensive line. Ditka said to him, how come they didn't block like this for Kyle Orton? Number two, I got him memorized. Ron Jaworski, I've been watching film for 50 years. And let me tell you something, the film for 50 years tells me he's never going to make it. You know what he says to John Gruden the other night? You'll see, you'll see. And you know what Gruden says to him? I can't wait. Okay, so Jaworski's hater number two. Boomer Esiason, who couldn't hold, I'm telling you, Tim Tebow's competitive spirit. Could not hold it. I don't care. He's more competitive than anybody in the league because he has basically no talent. He, apparently, uh, he can't play. How Did you see what he did yesterday? For three quarters, he sucked, and then he became Johnny Unitas. Then he became Johnny Unitas. I got three. There'll be two more up today. This is what I'm trying to tell everybody. Hey, by the way, the weather 
outside. Oh, by the way, and the Bears lost to Tim Tebow, even though Caleb Handy was supposed to be the quarterback of the future. Not the weather today. Nice and brisk. It's that time of year. Check it around around the country. I'm just I'm just saying it's coming right up here on the 30 and 5 on 560 WIND.com. Flood Brothers Disposal and a Recycling Services are professional waste haulers. Now, the Flood family is big on service. It's our number one priority, and we offer extremely competitive pricing because the Flood family is here to help you in this tough economy. Remember, at Flood Brothers, we build relationships. And the only thing we're big on is service. Call us at 773-626-5800 or floodbrothersdisposal.com.